My name is Ashley, also known as the Stitching Penguin here on Flosstube and Instagram. Today is Saturday, March 18th. It is, I think, maybe 1.30 in the afternoon. I think I just, yep, 2.30 in the afternoon, close enough. Um, thank you for stopping by. Um, I have had an uptick of subscribers so thank you for subscribing thank you for joining and i welcome everyone who's new uh to everyone that's been here before thank you for coming back and supporting me and i'm happy to have your support um i've gotten quite a bit done i think it's only been like three weeks so i'm starting to get back in the groove of floss tubing again and it's it's been kind of nice um since i have had quite a few more people that have joined i'm going to introduce myself a little bit again I am 27 years old. I had to think about that. That's sad. I am married. Um, I have my husband who's one. He edits my videos, so you will see little comments everywhere. Um, <clears throat> I have a 10-month-old baby boy. We call him Baby Penguin. Um, I have two cats. I currently live in northwest Georgia around Cartersville, Rome area, um, and I recently moved from Mill, Tennessee, Murfreesboro. Um, I work in insurance. I have picked up a couple more hobbies lately. I've started gardening and cooking, like cooking new recipes, which I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, I've been stitching since I believe November of 2017, so a little over five years, and my hobby has kind of exploded since, thanks to my aunt stitching in the burrow. <laughs> um, if you have any questions about me or my family, let me know in the comments. Um, I did have a question on my last video regarding the pictures that pop up with my theme song. Um, asking if it had to do with real life events. The answer is yes. So um, kind of explain the last one. We have a crawler. He's finding everything on the floor. No matter if we just vacuum swept, mopped everything, he finds anything and everything and tries to shove it in his mouth. Um, Lint, we have um, a dog here as well. It's my mom's and another cat. So animal hair, no matter how much you vacuum, sweep, mop, they're gonna find it. <laughs> so let's jump in. I have quite a bit to talk about. So um, I'm going to start with new starts and whips. I'm also going to talk about um, haul, hashtags. I also have quite a few people to shout out because I've been watching new people lately too and looking at new floss tubers. I've had people shout me out as well, which has been so nice. Um, I think that's everything on my list. So let's jump in. I think I'm gonna start with my new start. I gotta find it now. There it is. Um, I did not have time to print out any of these pictures, so I will show them to you on my phone. Okay, I started this one. This is Coloring Book Afternoon by Amy Stewart. I am doing the regular. There we go. I fell in love with this piece. There are so many colors. Um, I'm starting in the top left and I'm doing this on 28 count, two over one tent stitch. On Easy Guide, I picked up my first piece of Easy Guide, Easy Grid, whatever you want to call it, and now I'm obsessed and I feel like I never want to go back. Um, love this piece. It reminds me of my husband because my husband loves to draw. So, and just colors. So this was a brand new piece. So this is the progress I have made. I had to do the pencil. I saw the pencil and I was like, I had to do it. I had to get through the pencil. So we are at, let's see. I'm at 0.51%. 
and um, this piece has 350,000 stitches and I've done 1,793. I love it. It looks so good. There's the pencil. So, and I am doing to give you an idea. Focus, maybe. Anyway, I'm up there where the pencil box is. Oh, and this is, I think this is just white, if I'm not mistaken. And I got my fabric from 123 Stitch. And I love how they surge the material before they send it. I'm so happy. Okay. The next thing I worked on is my work piece. So whenever I'm on break and my baby sleeping or I'm waiting on something or I'm in a meeting that doesn't really call for a lot of my attention, I stitch on this. I will also have before and picture before pictures, before and after pictures inserted. <clears throat> so this is what it will look like before. And this is where I'm at now. This is Bunny and Cats by Wizards. This was a kit. And that's what it's going to look like in the end. So cute, easy stitch. And while I'm done with this one, I think I'm going to move back to my Playful Penguins to try and knock that one out. Next up, I have... Reader's Paradise by Amy Stewart as well. This was my very first Amy Stewart piece. My very first time using 28 count. Nope, that's a lie. <coughs> Excuse me. Second time using 28 count, except this is Lugana. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't remember the name of the color. But this is where I was before. And this is where I'm at now. I think I only worked on this one day. So I got in, I believe, from about here to here. And this is what it looks like. So I am right there. I love this piece. Everyone says there's so much confetti in it. I shouldn't say this, but I haven't run into anything yet. But my aunt is also stitching this and she's also said there's a lot of confetti. So I'm sure it's coming. I am sure it is coming. <clears throat> Next up, I have Juliet. This is by Tilton Crafts. This is a retired piece. Um, artist is Takaki. And I have a before picture here. I have a picture printed off somewhere, but if not, I will have them plug it in. And that's where I'm at. My goal on this piece was to get all the way to the end, so to finish that second row, and I did. I love this piece. It's beautiful. I think I have three other pieces also from Tilt Crafts that is Takaki, but I have not started them yet. They're on my list. But I have other ones I've been wanting to start first. It's beautiful. I love the colors. My favorite color is blue. You'll see a recurring theme. That's on 18 count, by the way. 
this was my very first cross stitch piece for those of you that are new. Um, I started it, I believe in November of 17 or maybe August of 17, somewhere in there. And I started on 14 count Ada. Of course it was a Heaven Earth Designs regular full size. And um, I just, I said go big or go home. Well, I didn't know at first that all your crosses go the same way. Then I, I'm not big on pastel pink and purple, probably one of my least favorite colors to stitch. On top of it, I learned that I didn't really care for 14 count was a little bit too big. Um, so I decided to scrap the 14,000 stitches I did and restart by cropping out part of the background and um, starting it on 18 count instead. So, as much as I love this piece, I'm really struggling to work on it because it's a lot of solid pink color. So, I'm at least putting in 100 stitches per week. I'm trying to do Wednesday, which is, I think it's oldest with Wednesday. I'll put the hashtag. Um, I can't remember who was starting it, but I will add them in here too. Um, but they did a vote to see if anyone else wanted to join their their hashtag. And so I said, well, that's a good idea to do that on Wednesday. So I did it at least once, and I really need to remember to do it on Wednesday. So there isn't a lot of stitches I put in here, but I did put in a, a little over 100 stitches over here. This is not my main priority but I, I am wanting to do more on it so I am putting a little bit more into it so the next piece I have is rainbow magic study this is the mini by heaven earth designs I actually have the picture Ooh, hold on there it is I love this piece, but I'm doing it on 22 count and I'm still unsure about how I feel about 22. Come on, you good. I saw you this time and you didn't scare me. Thank you. Um, I think I only did a little over 100 on this piece because I'm still not sure how I feel about the 22. 22 count for me is two too big to do two over one ten stitch but too small to do two over one full cross so that's where I'm struggling is it's not a, a very good medium in my experience but I'm determined to do it on this it's a perfect size it's it's a little bit smaller but here I am I only did I think about 100 on this one as well I wanted to pick this one up I am missing a color I ran out of a um out of a I think 154 I ran out of so I have to go to the store and get more so 154 went in there so I skipped over it and I started on the green love this piece too the colors are gorgeous I can't wait to finish this one too still not my priority piece my priority piece this is Bookworm Fairy by Hannah Disney, uh, charted by Heaven Earth Designs. This is a mini. I'm doing this one on 18 count. This was my second piece I ever started. Uh, those have, that have been with me before, this piece was actually started a month before Solemnly Swear, but Solemnly Swear kind of took over because I did mess up at one point on this piece, but I have now, sorry, phone call. I have now corrected it and I am flying. I'm trying to finish this by my birthday, but I'm not setting any plans in stone because we all know setting plans, it, they go out the window. It's like a, a rebellious thing. I, I try not to make plans, so I'm trying to pick this up as much as I feel like working on it. And I've been in the mood to work on it, and I think it's because I'm so excited of the progress I'm making. So um, there will be a before picture here. Also what it looks like. And that's where I'm at. 
we're getting back into the fairy, which I'm super excited about. I completely finished the lantern, which at first when I was stitching it, it kind of looked like a grenade, but now it actually looks more like a lantern than a grenade. The colors are beautiful. I love the blue. I'm Like I said before, I'm not big in pink. I'm more into the hot pinks, which is more of what this is. And it's books. I love books. <clears throat> um, speaking about books, let me fold this a little bit more. Okay. So right down here, that's the little folds of the pages of the book that she uh, has her elbow on. There's a better picture of the lantern. It's gorgeous. And now I'm working, here's her elbow and her arm. And then I've been working here, filling in. I've been at least doing the outline. Um, Card of Stitcher Danielle, uh, I believe also did Hannah Disney piece. I believe it's Hannah Disney that she did as well. And she kind of did the same thing. She stitched all the outline of hers first and then she filled it in which is a lot easier than trying to do it section by section, which is why this doesn't really follow any of my other pieces. So, love this piece. I got in, I wanna say at least 3,000 stitches on this piece because I've been knocking out two to 300 a night. Okay, let me check my list. Hold on, I'm missing a piece. Nope. 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 Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. So, I have one final piece I worked on. This is Sorcerer Stone, Tilton Crafts. This piece is also retired. Um, I believe the artist is said Richter, I want to say. Hold on. Yes, said Richter, Richter, somewhere in there. I'm not sure if I have a before picture, so if I do, it'll go here. Um, I lost my cover picture, but here it is. And the part I worked on was, actually that's not gonna work, is it? Maybe, possibly. It's like right, I wanna say like this section right here. Maybe further this way, but yeah. I did the castle, um, a little bit of the clouds, it's looking so good. I'm so excited. This one was just calling to me. What I have been doing lately is on my Instagram, I've been creating a poll and uh, putting four cross stitch patterns to possibly work on that day and letting you guys vote. I like it. That's fun. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to spin my whip wheel four times and then I'm going to post on days that I know of that I want to work on something different than Bookworm Fairy, but not sure what to work on and have you guys help me pick which ones to work on. Hopefully it'll help me bring out some of my older projects. So that's all the whips I have. Um... Let's talk about sales. <clears throat> I am doing the Reader's Paradise Sal with my Aunt Christine, who is stitching in the burrow, so the letter N instead of I-N, along with stay-at-home stitcher Erin. Um, I'm also doing the Fairy Sal 2023 with Ashley, who is the boogie stitcher. And on April 1st, I am collaborating with Christine, stitching in the burrow, Erin, stay-at-home stitcher, to start the Sea Turtle Mama Sal. Um, Sheena Pike came back to Heaven Earth Designs um, and released three freebies on the Heaven Earth Designs website. One of them being the Sea Turtle Mama. It is so cute. 
It has no background. And that's what it's gonna look like. It is so cute. So the three of us have been trying to find fabric for this piece. And so we've been going back and forth between, first we were gonna do white. And I said, no, it's no background. Let's find some color. So we borrowed between black, we borrowed between blue, we borrowed between sand color, like tan. Um, so the original piece of fabric I bought was um, Whisper, which is this color. I said it was a nice neutral background. I feel like it'll make the colors pop. But then Erin, with her technology, I'm a little bit technically challenged, which is why I, I don't edit my videos too well. I kind of just make them. <laughs> Erin had this new update on her phone where she could take fabrics and put the picture on top of them to try to, you know, figure out what colors would look good. And I, it, it looks like that. And I kind of was like, eh, I don't like it. So then we found this fabric. And I love it. It's got marbling in it. It's beautiful. It is called Dabloon. So it's 28 count Dabloon Laguna. I ordered it off of one, two, three stitch. It's coming in Monday. I did not want to wait to make a video next week. I wanted to make this now to give you guys time to get ready for the sale. I know, um, <coughs> excuse me, Heather Confetti Stitcher is doing it. Um, there's been a couple of people that have watched my video that went and downloaded the piece. I hope you guys are joining. I want to see your progress. So Erin just uploaded a video and showed her fabric and she's doing hers on a lime green. And I'm super excited to see what hers looks like. And then I believe my aunt uploaded her video last night too. And she's also doing it on like a tan, like a, a country mocha, I think, to make it look more like sand. So I'm super excited. Um, so April 1st, hashtag Sea Turtle Mama Sal. Um, come join us. Post your progress on Instagram. I want to see everyone's fabric. What are you stitching it on? What count? I want to see. So come join us. Also, I have a couple shout outs. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. I've discovered some people, not only from shout outs, but I've also been kind of branching out watching other people. So the first person I want to mention, uh, she, her name is Tanya. She is Stitching Addicted. Um, she is based out of New Zealand. No. I believe New Zealand. Um, she does a lot of full coverage. Um, she does stitch with me's as well, which is very nice. I like to listen to them while I work. Um, and my, one of my favorite parts of her videos is how I have, um, stuff that pops up on my screen. She adds like a little noise to it. So you know when to look up. I love that because I can sit there and listen to her videos and work and I hear the noise and I know when to look over absolutely love that <laughs> um another person so tanya shouted me out thank you so much tanya i really appreciate it um blushing pink stitches shouted both my aunt and i out me her name is Lindsay. um she's doing a stitch along with the flea market flowers and it makes me want to go dig mine out of storage so i can start the flea market flowers that may need to happen um she has a ton of Verena Wild patterns, and they are beautiful. I used to do puzzles of their artwork as well, and I loved them. Um, she is great. Her personality is lovely. I believe she also, um, if I'm not mistaken, she has a pattern as well that she's created. And I think it's a spring. Um, it's beautiful. Go to her floss tube and go find her shop and download it. It's beautiful. Um, the next person I want to mention is my dear friend Katrina. Um, she is gold trinket on floss tube. She just made her first video. It is gold trinket without any um, vowels. I'll link everyone I'm talking about below. 
Um, she is a thrifter. She loves Mill Hills, bees, patriotic. She does a lot of smalls, not so much full coverage, but she does so many cute things. She does pillows. She's a collector. Go check her out. She give her some support, some love. She's been amazing. Um, also, I have discovered Marjorie Maid. I love how she introduces herself on her videos because she's like, hi, I'm Marjorie. And um, on Instagram, she's like, I'm Marjorie here. I'm Marjorie there. Um, I'm still Marjorie. I love it. It cracks me up. Um, I love her hair, her makeup. I don't do makeup. I, I suck at makeup. I used to do makeup, but now I'm just, I want to stitch. I have time to make videos, stitch, cook, work, baby. Um, she can't stick to plans like I can either. So I absolutely love that because it's relatable. Um, but she does all these little small pieces. Um, there was something specific. I believe I just watched her whip parade. She does um, frosted pumpkin stitchery, the really cute ones. Those are cute. And then there's one other specific um, designer she stitches a lot of too. I'll, I'll put it in below. I have it written down on a sticky note. I didn't add it to my notes, but she is lovely. Her personality is lovely. Everything. Just go check her out. Um, me and her have been talking on Instagram. It's been a nice conversation. We've kind of um, talked about our how we store things. It's it's been nice. Um, the bougie bougie no the boogie stitcher, Ashley. Um, I've known her for a while through Erin, and I just had the time to start watching her videos. She does a lot of stamped kits. They look beautiful. Um, she has this piece, it's going to be called the traveling piece, where she's pulling, I believe it's 12 people's names to pass this pattern around, and I'm excited to see how that works. Um, I don't think I have the time to participate right now, but I can't wait to see how it works, what happens with the piece, where it goes, who stitches what. Um, that's everyone I have for shouting out. That's all the cross stitch I have. That's all the new starts, whips, everything. So if you were here just for the stitching, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, comment, tell me how your day went. Tell me what you're stitching. Let me know if you're joining our uh, Sea Turtle Mama Sal. Tell me all the things. Um, if you want to stick around, I'm going to talk about life. Um, I am picking up cooking again and I want to talk about cooking, gardening, all the things. Um, I think I'm going to start talking about what I cook because I've been starting to do new recipes lately and I would like to share them. Um, I'm learning how to also make stuff from scratch. So I don't know. I figure it'll be kind of fun but I really suck at taking pictures because I've cooked like three new things and I've only got a picture of one of them. Um, I have currently learned how to make jelly. I made strawberry jelly using the recipe out of Joshua Wiseman's cookbook. Love him to death. Found him on TikTok. Now he's got cookbooks. He's got, I believe, YouTube as well. Love Joshua Wiseman. Um, there's a lot of recipes in that cookbook that I feel very intimidated by because you have to know how to cook, cook to make some of these, like tempering and... Um, um, thermometering, <laughs> all the things. So I learned how to make strawberry jelly out of the cookbook and it turned out amazing. It was good for a month. It was gone in a week, mostly from me. Um, I've also made strawberry cobbler, which I did not take a picture of. Um, I used fresh strawberries that we got, um, from the store. No. Yes. Yes. They were really good from the store. We got them from Publix. So I made a strawberry cobbler that was gone within two days. Of course, no picture. And then I learned how to make homemade hamburger helper. I actually made it last night. Also did not take a picture. Um, I got the strawberry cobbler recipe offline. 
Um, it was delicious. If you're interested, I will link it below along with um, Joshua Wiseman's cookbook and it's, I'm going to do probably TikTok and YouTube if I can find them or Facebook. I'll figure it out. I'll link them below. And um, I made the hamburger helper, which I will also link below, but it was so easy. You just ground the meat and the onion together. You drain off the grease. Then in the pot, you add some tomato paste, some beef broth, um, put your pasta all in the same pot. It's like a one pot meal almost. And then once the noodles are soft, then you add the cheese and it's done. And then seasoning, of course. But oh, I'm hungry now. That was delicious. But yes, it was, it was awesome. Um, I'm also started to garden as well. So I have um, cucumbers, tomatoes, sunflowers, watermelon. Um, I'm going to start lettuce. My mom's got a peach tree. Um, bell peppers. Uh, I got a lot. So I plan to learn how to pickle cucumbers. Um, we're going to make a rain barrel to catch some water to water our plants. So, and we have the guard, the yard prep too. We laid down some cardboard boxes with some wood on top of it to kind of kill the grass to make it easier. So I'm really excited to start gardening because when you lived in an apartment before, you're kind of limited on what you can do. Now that we have a yard, I get to do all the things. And I can't wait to introduce um, our kid to, to it later and kind of expose them to, you know, doing all this stuff. It will be fun. But that's all I have. Um, plans. I, I stitch whenever he goes to bed at night. Um, I stitch usually between 7.30, 8 o'clock to about 10, 11. So depending on how tired I am. And then during his naps on the weekend. So I actually get a fair amount of stitching time. It's very nice. Um, <clears throat> I'm planning to try a couple new recipes. I can't wait for April 1st to start the sal. Other than that, I don't have any new starts I'm planning besides that one. Maybe I do have this fabric. It may change. We'll see. Um, but that's all I have, really. I'm just... Stitching what I want when I want. I'll probably put up some more voting on Instagram. But that's all I have for today. It was nice being here with you guys. I hope to see you again in maybe two or three weeks. Hopefully I can get back on a schedule. But happy stitching and I will see you all soon.